your attention for just a moment or two. We have uh, some legislative awards to hand out during this uh, noon hour, or lunch hour, I should probably say. Uh, this one is a Lanterman Promise Award, and that's for leadership in the 10 campaign. And as you have heard the last couple of days, the 10 campaign was the campaign, the program launched by the Lanterman Coalition to save our developmental disability community services. It called for a 10% across the board increase in rates. Um, and since 2014, Tom Lackey has represented the 36th Assembly District. That's look, yeah. Hmm quite a contingent, which is located between the Tehachapi Mountains to the north and San Gabriel Mountains on the south. And by the way, uh, apparently he was the first person elected in that district in 22 years whose name was not Runner or Knight. <laughs> Before being elected to the legislature, Mr. Lackey was a CHP sergeant, a Palmdale City Council member, school board member, and importantly for us, a special education teacher. Assemblymember Lackey was perhaps the most active member of the Assembly in supporting the Lanterman Coalition's 10 campaign, and we thank him for that. He did it through petitions, rallies, and social media. He's the only legislator whose official biography highlights his work to provide increased state funding to support programs for individuals with developmental disabilities. And he's one of this year's winners of our Lanterman Promise Award, and thank you to Assemblymember Tom Lackey. Thank you, everybody. This is uh, a very proud moment. And uh, you know, when I graduated from college quite a long time ago, um, it was back in 1984, I planned to be a teacher in, in the special, ed special education field. And that's where I started. And uh, when I came to Sacramento in 2015, I was absolutely saddened, but also outraged when I learned about the fact that individuals with developmental disabilities were being shortchanged in funding to the level that they had been. It was interesting because the way I found out was by a demonstration that was outside the Capitol. And I took note, we see demonstrations all the time, so it isn't like uh, I take deep interest in all of them. But this one was unique, because guess who was demonstrating? People with disabilities, with developmental disabilities. And that drew my attention. So I went to the leader of the group, and I, uh, I said, why are you guys out here? What, what's going on? And that's when I learned of this uh, very deep disparity that has taken place. You know, California had been spending billions with a B billions and billions of more funding dollars toward other programs. But yet, this part of our community was being ignored. They had been stripped of funding since 2009, and even though we'd had increase of money, none of it had gone to this population. So it took a lot of work, but we coordinated together. And uh, I'm very proud of the 36th district because we collected petitions, as did many of you in this room. And we demonstrated, and we talked to the media, and we, we got the governor's attention. So thank you to each one of you. And I want you to know that I can't be more proud of joining arms with uh, organizations like this one. You know, ARC has, has done and will continue to do some, some very important work very important work. And we also have United Cerebral Palsy working together for a population that inarguably deserves our outreach. Because if we don't do it, who is? And I can tell you, it's very, very fascinating to me when I talk to anybody that is a policymaker, how they all express the desire to be helpful, and to reach out and to support those who have this challenge. But yet, when it comes down to the decision making, when it comes down 
to all the other prioritization, it seems like we fall behind. So let's not let them do that. Let's hold them to their word. They say that they care. They say that they want to help. Let's hold them to their word. Because I think that if we hold them to their word, they have no choice. And so it's going to be a battle, I can tell you that. I mean, we, we know the standards that have been set by the federal government and uh, the cost of acquiring that. Very few people, when they, when they supported the increase to minimum wage, realized how it would impact this industry. Pretty substantial. We need to be smart, and we need to be caring, and we need to give those people who have this added challenge the promise that the Lannerman promise extended to each one of them. Because no matter what your, your physical condition or mental condition might be in this life, everybody deserves a chance to live an independent and fulfilling life. And uh, I can't be more proud. You, you can go to the bank that I will never waver in this, this battle. It uh, doesn't matter what party I am. So thank you for this recognition. I never imagined I would ever be standing in this position, but I'm here and I'm very proud of the fact that uh, we're going to work together because the challenges will be significant, they will be real, and the fight is not going to ease. I can tell you that right now. Um, it's it's a, a worthwhile battle. So thank you for this few moments so th and this award. Thank you very much.